hello you are welcome back and of course i want you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done it and also those of us who have already subscribed i want you to share like and comment come up here and click on print and let's choose the a4 come to the title and let's write father's day and let's create the first thing we are going to do is to take our shape tool and let's draw the shape come to the color tab and let's choose the gradient let's double click on this first handle and let's type in this code let's also double click on the second handle and also type in this code click ok let's import our first image you will find all these images in the description so check and download them let's position our image and resize it a bit select the layer and let's add a layer mask by clicking on the icon here now select the eraser tool right click and make sure that the hardness is zero let's clean the edges of the image Okay, after that, let's select the image again. And this time, look up here, we are reducing the opacity from 100 to 50%. Okay, let's drag and drop our next image. And let's put the image right here. right click on the eraser tool choose the magic eraser tool set the tolerance to somewhere 50 percent and click anywhere of the image now let's drag and drop it into our project let's resize and position it Okay, now grab the test tool. Let's increase the font type and then let's type Fades. Let's increase the size. The name of the font we are using is Impact, which is already in your computer. This is also the color of the font. Press and hold the ALT key and then use your mouse to drag the fathers to make a copy. After that, double click and change the text. And come to properties and let's change the font type to Silent Asia.
Now let's add our heart image. In the layer panel, bring the heart beneath the test so that it will go behind it. Now let's select our heart and come up here to the image tab. Then come to adjustment and then to hue and saturation. Now let's drag the slider to the left to 180 to change the color of the heart. Okay, select the heart layer again and let's add a layer style that is drop shadow effect. Now adjust your settings according to this one. Just take your time and follow it. When you are done, click OK. Import this heart also. And let's place it and resize it right here. Let's change the blending mode to multiply so that we can get rid of the white color. Now let's also take our shape tool and draw our shape right here. Now for the color of this shape, please let's choose a sample color from here and then click OK. Now this one also come to the layer and let's add the drop shadow effect again. Adjust the settings according to this one. Let's grab the test tool once again and let's add the rest of the details. So the font type we are using here is Lato. Let's make a duplicate and also edit to complete the test. Now it's time for you to add your logo.
and because of the white background i have to change the blending mode to multiply so that it can be absorbed Let's make another copy and edit. Now take the shape tool again, that is the rectangle, and put it on your design. After that come to the properties, click on the color tab and turn the fill color off. And now click on the outline and let's give it a standard color. And let's increase the outline to about 15. So you can change the outline color to something like this. Then finally, click on the adjustment layer and add caves. Drag the curve downwards to just 107 for the output and we are good to go so we are done you can go ahead and save your project i thank you so much for watching this video and also i thank you for subscribing share this video to reach more people to show your support see you again in the next tutorial take care bye bye